Hi, so I've already done a longer video of how to load film into your film processing canister, which I have here. And this is going to be like my quick run through without a lot of explanation. I'm just going to do it and maybe say a couple things, but hopefully keep the video really short and you can just see how it's done. So here's the film and I'm going to open it. This is, of course, film that I've rolled on my own and it's unexposed because this process has to happen completely in the dark. You would not be doing this in the light. This is practice film and I can do it in the light because it's already been completely exposed to light and I'm not losing any photos. But of course, if I had photographed on this film, it would all be ruined now. Okay, so now I'm gonna load it onto uh, this reel here and just one quick reminder, this would be in complete darkness. Either you're using a dark bag or in a dark closet or room, like very dark room, not a printing dark room even the red light will expose the film. So complete darkness, you're doing this by the feel of your hands. I'm gonna load this film right under those two teeth there and pull it up. I've already cut the film to be straight, so it's not doesn't have that funny ending. And now we're just gonna take the film and jiggle the, canis, the reel to transfer the film from its little reel onto this big white reel. And there it goes, it's almost done. Once we get it to the end, we'll cut it off. And give it one or two more jiggles just to get that film nice and cozy on there. The film, uh, the reel with the film, if you're only doing one roll, is gonna go on this tube first. Okay, this nub is the bottom. It goes into the bottom of the container. So it'll, the film will be down here. And then the empty reel goes on top of that. Always putting the one with the film into the container first. That's also where this nub is. If you have two rolls of film, just stack them any way you want and pop them in there. But that nub always has to go facing down. Then we put the lid on. And the way to put the lid on properly, because often if you just press it on, it comes out a little crooked. So you want to turn it backwards a little bit until it really gets into place and is nice and straight. And then turn it tight and it is on. And now your film is in this container as long as that tube is in there and the lid is on properly. It is completely light proof. You can take it out of the dark room or out of the dark bag and you can start processing your film with the chemicals. And you are set to go. Congratulations and I bid you good day.